What is going on, people? YouTube here, Big Shy Gaming here. So it's just kind of an update video for everybody. It's been I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, so I thought you know well I'll just load up some Minecraft Skyblock here and then as I pick away at the the cobblestone here, kind of talk about a few things, let you guys know what's been going on. Um, so first things first, I guess uh, I do apologize for the length of time that there has not been a video. Um, life, you know, kind of gets in the way, and holidays, and family stuff, and just stuff in life, you know, in general, life gets in the way. So, it is what it is. Um, I recently got a game that I grew up with, um, and I've been sinking a lot of time into it, unfortunately. And I get carried away, lose track of time, because it's it's kind of a slower paced game, old game. But I was able to get my hands on it, a copy of it, and I am talking about Anno 1602 AD. It is one of the very first RTS games. I, get, well, I don't know if it's RTS, it's more of like city builder, I don't know, uh, island builder, I don't It's kind of hard to describe, anyway. Um, so yeah, I got a copy of that, and oh my gosh, it's just nostalgia everywhere, and having so much fun with it, and it just, it was a blast. So, I just, I was having such a fun time with it, and I mean, I'm still playing it. I wish I could record a video on it, because it's just a game that I grew up with, and I unfortunately do not have the hardware or the software for whatever reason to capture it um, I would either have to upgrade my video card or end up buying a 50 to 80 dollar software package in order to do that and both of those are kind of out of reach right now so I just kind of have to deal with what I got and then just kind of tell you guys about it and then when the time comes I can upgrade to that so um, next thing I watched and everyone's going to think I'm a noob because I watched a walkthrough oh, about a week ago and all of a sudden it's like, watch this person play this game and I want both games so bad and I feel like such a bad person because I should have gotten both games when they came out because the first one was from 2007 and I'm like, oh boy, that's, that's a long time ago. Anyway, I'm talking about the Portal games, so Portal 1 and 2. Um, I am going to be planning on getting those very shortly and hopefully putting videos up of those and doing the playthroughs of those at least single player because that's that's what I excel at because um, my internet is eh, it's shoddy at times it's drop frames drop packets it's just it's not the best right now and I can't really upgrade as of right now so that's just kinda it is what it is so um, yeah so I mean I watched this person play it and it's just like I want these games so bad, but I gotta wait for a couple weeks, I think it is, before I can actually get it yet, so, um, probably get it after Christmas, and probably before the new year, I think, it's kind of the plan, so you guys can kind of hopefully expect to see that, um, so holidays, um, well, this year, it's a little different, I, my wife and I are hosting Christmas for our families, both family, both sides of the families, so it's a little different, but it's kind of nice to have it. So we'll be hosting it and trying to get plans for that and all the all the fun stuff that comes with hosting, you know. I'm sure everybody can relate, or I'm sure a lot of people can relate anyway. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, should I do that? Um... Sorry, I'm thinking as I'm playing here. Just trying to figure out what the best way to do this. Because it's been a while since I've done this. And I mean a while. Do I have it? It's not going to be enough. But then if I break... I don't know if there's another... I can't tell if there's another block or not. Is there? There is. Okay. So I'll break one more. And then I can create another pickaxe. Okay. So then like this, like this, like this... Okay, sorry guys, this is just trying to focus all at once. I know it's not the best thing to do, but eh. There, at least I can get that. Put that and that there. And I think we're going to expand a little bit. Okay, anyway, so, back to update stuff. Um, I just 
recently joined Discord. Um, I again, I don't have no friends on Discord, so um, it's something that I've heard a lot of good things about over the years. So I just decided, well, what the hey, why not just download it and get it and see what happens. So yeah, I just figure why not? You know, it doesn't hurt to have it, and I kind of. I personally uninstalled uh, Origin because it's EA, and if anybody knows anything about the news and gaming news about EA and their microtransaction BS and whatever, I don't really want to support that, so I basically, the only reason I have Origin in installed is because some of my favorite Command & Conquer games are now distributed and owned by EA, so like some of the original Command & Conquers that I grew up with, uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert, Red Alert, uh, Counter Strike, um, Red Alert Two, uh, all those things. What? No way! I got it. Uh, how did I get? Wow! I got saplings without even taking down the tree. Okay, that is a big plus in my book. Awesome! 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 Ooh, that's a little shaky. Sorry. Um, so as you can tell, I'm playing Minecraft. Um, I don't know if you get. I'm sure. You guys have heard about the Minecraft update that's coming soon, the new Aqua update. Which, in my opinion, it's about time, because it's been how long since we've had, you know, nothing with the Aqua, and you just dive into the ocean and you see squids. Woo, it's real thrilling. I mean, I'm not hating on the developers or anything, it's just, I think it's a little, I don't know, well, I shouldn't really say anything. The game hasn't been out as long as I thought it has been out, so I can't really... I can't really say or judge or whatever because it's not my place to. So, uh, let's see here. Next topic. Um, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Another RTS game I absolutely love. Um, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance um, is it's an RTS. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm a big RTS fan. Well, certain RTSs appeal to me. Others don't. But uh, I do like certain RTSs, um, and Supreme Commander Forge Alliance is one of those. Again, I would love to be able to play online and play with people, but again, with a very not very great internet connection and my P current PC setup, um, Supreme Commander is one of those games that if you play with a bunch of people, it'll tax your system, and if your CPU cannot handle it, your game will crash and your PC will crash and I'm kinda at that point of like I really don't want to have my PC crash on me because I kinda need it on a daily basis to do a multitude of things so it's something I don't really want to risk right now but it is a game I enjoy I like playing the vanilla version but um, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance they have a uh, it's called FAF so Forged Alliance Forever is what it's called and in my opinion, it is a very good, I've downloaded the program, it's it's a free program. It's a very good program, at least in my opinion, because it's essentially enabling mods and different, uh, mods and different styles, I guess. I mean, different ways to play, different game rules and whatnot. So it's definitely, definitely something that I personally enjoy it's just not being able to play because a poor internet connection kind of sucks you know but hey it is what it is it's life you just gotta deal with it and move on right did i just miss that sapling the sapling fell down was it that one i thought it fell off the edge oh boy oh boy well hey i'm ha okay i got forced i think this this is a lot of saplings out of one tree i don't know if i've ever gotten this many saplings out of a tree oh my goodness Anyways, anyways, moving on. So, um, I guess the next topic or next game would be that um, I am a big, I shouldn't say big, but I'm a fan of World of Warships. Um, I have personally haven't been playing it a lot lately just because, well, to be honest, 1602 AD has been taking up all my time. And I'll be straight up honest, I haven't played any of the expansions off of that. I haven't played any of the other games off of it. I've seriously considered buying them and getting them because they're very similar. I know that, but um, other than that, I'm not 100% sure on that because, again, I don't. I usually don't have a lot of time to devote to a game during the day or evening or 
usually during the week it's hard to find time and then during the weekend it's even harder to find time because stuff's going on so I do try to get stuff done when I can okay I'm just having like sapling sapling fever oh my goodness out of one tree I've had seven saplings I swear I lost one um, anyways so yeah world of warships is a uh, I, I enjoy the game I've also downloaded and playing World of Warplanes, I just haven't been playing them a lot lately because I've been having such shoddy, you know, leg issues with internet. I mean, they're they're fun games. Don't get me wrong; they're very fun games. However, it takes time, and sometimes they don't have a lot of time to play. So, um, a game like Minecraft Hero, I can hop in, do a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then hop out it doesn't require a whole lot. Um, Supreme Commander, same ish, same thing there. I can hop in, play a little bit, and hop out. 1602 AD, the one that I've been playing on, again, I can hop in and hop out. You know, play for 30 minutes, an hour at most, and then get out of that and do what I need to do, you know. So, okay, I'm just going to break these just to see. Nothing, okay. So, I think we're going to... A couple... Anyways, so, as I was saying, like I said, my time is kind of limited, so it's it's hard to, oh, excuse me, hard to make time for certain things, because, I'll be honest, there's other things that are more important right now than the games. I mean, there's, there's things that are more important to me. I mean, games are a big portion of my life. I, I do admit that. They're one of the, um, probably one of my most favorite things in life, but... Again, there there are other priorities that take precedent over it, unfortunately. I mean, my dream would be, of course, to play video games all day long and be paid for it, of course. But, again, that's eh, it's maybe future, you know. It, it's hard to say with that. So, okay, well, I'm going to focus here on trying to get a layer down here. If you just guys just bear with me for a minute as I try to figure out how to do this quick. Okay, so I think I'm going to do... I think I'm gonna do that. I like this. Like this. Um, come on, come on, come on. There. I think that'll give me at least some kind of platform. Can I? Okay, I can. So I could actually drop down. Go like this. Like this. And then. Uh, sorry, just trying to focus, guys. It's hard to talk and focus at the same time. I've also seen that um, there's a new Five Nights at Freddy game out. Um, personally, I'm not into that, those kind of games. Um, I know a lot of people enjoy the Five Nights at Freddy series games. Myself, um, I'm going to say pass. I'd rather not play those games because... I am not good with horror games and jump scare games. Those are just games that I'm not very good at. I mean, I'll be straight up and admit it, because I know I'm not very good at it. I know I'd freak out. Well, you guys would probably like seeing that, wouldn't you? You guys would probably enjoy me freaking out and getting all frustrated and freaked out. And when, yeah, you probably would. You guys probably would enjoy that, wouldn't you? I might have to end up doing that, too. Lovely. Anyways. Okay, so, get this, like this, like this. Now, if you guys ever do want to play Skyblock, you can always message me. I mean, if nothing else, you could, you know, Google it. It's not that hard to get a Skyblock map downloaded into your Minecraft folder. But I enjoy it. This is um, 3.07, so it doesn't look any different than Skyblock 3.06, like all my other videos. The only difference with this is that <clears throat> Once you beat the end dragon, you can actually get into, oh crap, the end cities, I believe. Because the portal was broken once you got done with killing the end dragon. The portal was broken, you could never get into the end cities and actually do anything. So, from my understanding, that was fixed. So, yeah, yay, right? Um, let's see here, what else? Um, just trying to think here. Um, oh, other game I was attempting to play that re does require internet, but I bought it for, it was like 20 bucks on Steam or something. It was, it was a good game. It's been out for, I mean, two, three months now. It's, it's a fun game called Heliborn. Um, it is a 
helicopter based game very similar to world of warships world of tanks world of warplanes very similar but extremely different um their tech tree is set into four four stages or four tiers i guess of each tech tree and after about three hours of playing i mean you, you could probably unlock the fourth tier of helicopters and they have helicopters from vietnam era to i think like early I think 2000s or maybe a little bit after that. I can't remember exactly. I don't got the statistics by me right now. But uh, yeah, that's it's a fun game. And I tried, I don't know, three, four, five times trying to record, trying to upload a video on it, trying to get it to work. And I used OBS with that. And for some reason, I couldn't get that to work. I tried using my other recording software. I couldn't get that to work either. And it just, I don't know, it just for some reason would not work. And I do... I do remember reading men a mention about it where the developers are aware of it. So I don't know at this point in time, about mid-December, I don't know if they fixed it or not. I haven't really looked into it lately because, again, I've been addicted to 1602 AD. So it's, um, I, yeah, I don't know if they fixed it or not. It's a good game. The thing I like about that game is because... I have kind of, a, I mean, it's not the best internet connection, but it's it's an internet connection, but it's not a very good internet connection. Um, so the thing with that game is I could play that game, be playing a co-op mission, get some XP. Oh, well, then I, you know, I get an intermittent uh, break in the internet connection, and then it kicks me out. Well, in almost every other game out there, you lose everything you earned during that short time that you were in the game. Well, with Heliborn, you keep all your XP, even if it's only like 20 XP, you get to keep that. And that all accumulates to help you unlock upgrades and the next helicopter in the tier. And um, as, as of right now, as far as I'm aware, there's only two, um, I don't know, factions is the right word. Um, two countries, as far as I'm aware, which is the US and the Russians, because they have the best... Uh, well, not the best, but the, probably the most prominent helicopters of that era. I'm not saying that they're the only ones, because I know other nations, of course, had that, you know, had those. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Can I make myself a path up without killing myself? Hmm. <laughs> most likely, I just gotta figure it out. Just gotta figure it out, that's all. Okay. Just have to figure it out. Okay, we're gonna drop down. Ooh, that hurt. Yep, that hurt. Okay. And we are going to go like so. Like so. And then I think we can go like this. I think. So he says, then he dies. That would be my luck too. Okay, like that. And like that. Okay. Not very good steps, but at least Hey, come on. At least I can get up and down now. Okay. Yeah, man. Bust. There we go. Okay, so now we're just going to expand this out a little ways. So, yeah. Um, I'm very excited to try to get the Portal game soon. And I just saw that they're just going to... They are going to release... I don't think it's Portal themselves because I think that was made by Valve. And I don't think Valve makes games anymore. But there's... A new one out. I saw a clip about it about something about constructor or something. I'm not I haven't gone into deep depth about it, so please forgive me if I don't know everything about it, because I don't. I don't know everything about anything. I know a little bit about this, a little bit about that. That's about all I know. Cause that's just the way I am. So Okay, I'm on, there we go. Okay, so now we kinda got <coughs> Excuse me, I call this kind of a tray, or platform, because I do want to... See, I'm going to have to expand up that way towards that island to try to catch any of the cobblestone blocks that do fall. So, put some of this dirt back. How are our trees doing? Well, they're going to take a while, but they're doing okay. Oh, I suppose... Do I have enough? Do I have enough for that, though? Mm, I think I might. I think I might. We're gonna do that, that, that. I don't 
and the wheat. Um, don't really need that yet. Okay. Whoops. I'm sure you, some of you guys already know kind of what I'm doing. Going to get some food. Try to get some food down. Oh, but wait a minute. I can't. I need that. They need, they need one space each, I think, don't they? I could be completely wrong, but I swear they need at least one space. Oh, see, now I can get rid of some of this. That's kind of nice. Yeah, a floating block. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Get all these blocks. Okay. Okay, get. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Come on, there we go. Okay, so I think. Go like this. And then, like that. And then, I think I could probably do one more. That'll give me. Give me at least a little bit of room. Okay, so we're gonna plant the pumpkin and the melon seeds. Yay! Yay! More more achievements. I'll put that there. Hopefully those will grow over time. I probably could put the sugar cane there, but well oh, come on. Come on, here we go. What the heck, why not? Why not, huh? Yay. So now I'm gonna have to expand this out, put some more because ideally what I want to end up doing is I want to expand, of course, that's the goal of Skyblock, is to expand your, your primary island into a much bigger island so I can put more, so you can put more and more, excuse me, items. I think we're trying to expand this ring out a little bit, try to get more room for the trees. At least for now, I'm going to end up having to move all these trees like I do every single Skyblock map I usually end up creating a designated area for all the trees. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with Skyblock, um, there is eight islands, and I believe seven of these islands, six of these islands have separate trees, and within the tree section there, as far as I'm aware, they're each a separate biome. So you got mushrooms, you got a sand island with cactus, which that's a challenging island to get done. Uh, I think that's dark oak, birch, um, swamp, which I think is actually just oak. Uh, I don't remember. Is that that big oak? No. I can't remember that one. Then we got jungle and acacia, I think is how you pronounce it, or something like that. Okay, yeah, that just looks kind of weird, don't it? Can I get that? Yay, okay. So, yeah, ultimately I'm just going to probably build out this a little bit, get a couple trees, and I'm probably going to expand this out so I can drop all the trees down. I'll end up probably replacing this entire island, but I do want to keep some of these grass so I can get some animals to spawn. Probably end up making a new cobblestone generator once I'm able to get more water, which is on that island there. There is a, I think it's a 1 by 2 square... Maybe it's a four by four square of water there with the swamp one. So then you can get unlimited water source. You can do lots of things with un unlimited water sources on this. Okay, so, oh, well, I only got four pieces of dirt. Well, it'll have to work. Because I know trees like space. And just like in real life, they would like space. Okay, well, how do I want to do this? We like this and this. That works, okay. Oh, I suppose I should actually make one of those now, now that I got some cobble. Yay, a furnace. So I can cook stuff, but again, that's going to need... going to have to take time with that so I can chop down the trees and start to make charcoal. And Charcoal is essentially the same thing as coal. You can make torches and use it as a fuel for your fire. The only thing I'm not sure about is I don't think you can make charcoal blocks. Maybe they updated it so you can. I know you can make uh, coal blocks, but um, charcoal blocks, I'm, uh, I mean, granted, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've done this, so. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video. So it's been kind of a major update video for you guys, and I thought I'd do something that isn't too strenuous on the eyes or ears. So uh, I thank you all for listening and watching, and I will talk to you guys all in the next video.